This is your forecast for the month of August 2016. This is a general reading for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Rising, or Aquarius Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful as well. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com provided on the link at the upper corner. If you have visited the site before, please clear your browser's cache to allow the appointment button to function properly. So, Aquarius, it seems that things are moving very quickly for you this first week of August. So maybe you're having to act quickly, maybe you're receiving some information that's coming in quickly. Uh, this could be with the internet. But there is definite movement. Any blockages that have been uh, in place thus far have been removed and something is happening on the physical plane. So again, some opportunities may be arriving, there could be some news, uh, some quick action that needs to be taken, and maybe some of you are falling in love, uh, but there could be new ideas, a job offer, or maybe you're traveling, and likely air travel, uh, maybe you're traveling for business. But something is happening, and this is a week where you need to just be well, it, it'll be difficult for you to be prepared because the unexpected is going to happen. You may surprise yourself on some level, situations, or other people, but nothing is going to follow a prescribed plan. Even if you thought you had set everything up and you situated everything, something is going to go against the guidelines or the rules or what you thought was going to happen. And maybe you make this choice. Maybe you decide to suddenly uh, change some things or perhaps it's necessity, some external circumstance. Whatever it is, this week you're going to really step back and you know, take a look at what's going on so that you can readjust to new circumstances. So something unexpected this week is going to trigger the need for you to have to act quickly, make some decisions, try to salvage something or rescue something or start something, launch it because of new situations that you're going to have to accommodate. Now, for some of you, you're on the move and you're actually accomplishing a lot in less time than you thought. Because this week gives you the ability to make quick decisions and to make sound decisions. For others of you, things are moving so fast, it's like a train coming at you and maybe situations are running away with you and over you. And in that case, you're having to try to digest and absorb what's going on and you're having difficulty in doing so. So again, matters may be moving more quickly than you're prepared to deal with. Um, but this is a week for you to act because any kind of happy outcome that you're, you're expecting is not going to happen on its own. Now the second week you have the Two of Wands and this is a number two card falling in a number two time slot. So this card is emphasized for you this month. This is important, the meaning of this card. So you are doing some type of a review uh, and maybe this has to do with being in control. Maybe you're you know, looking over something, you're looking into the future or you're looking how far you've come and you are, maybe you feel like something is, is missing. You've got a lot, you've accomplished a lot and yet there's something lacking. So some of you may be looking at the big picture or maybe you have a vision that you're, you know, looking at. But this is a week for personal power and boldness for you to act on opportunities. Although this week you may be in a waiting period. You may be uh, waiting to make your move because you're considering, you know, 
everything that's happened. So maybe you are involved in some type of business or maybe in negotiations. Maybe you're waiting on an answer for something. Some of you are traveling, uh, but this is a card about being enterprising. So this, you need to be, even though things are happening quickly, again, you have the ability to make quick, sound decisions. You need to be very realistic about whatever is occurring and not, you know, um, idealize a situation. And fortunately, there are going to be some good things happen for you. Work, you know, with your work at home or maybe both where some opportunities come up that are going to allow you to make some positive changes. So you're standing on the doorway of this opportunity and you can either move forward or pull back. And the fortunate thing for some of you is that other people are going to be, you know, willing to go along with whatever it is that you decide. But you're going to have an opportunity to either prove a point or maybe you get some kind of vindication with regard to a situation. But it's going to be easy for you to remove yourself with grace from some type of situation where whether it's um, something you're involved in, a job situation, or even a relationship. But definitely because this is a number two, and twos have to do with our attachment to the other. This week, your attachment to someone or some cause or something is liable to either increase where you feel strongly about it, or decrease where you feel strongly against it. Now, while you're considering this, make sure that you're not allowing any self-doubt to hold you back because this may be causing you to procrastinate. This, The reason you may not be moving forward is because you don't quite believe in yourself or your abilities, or maybe you're not getting the support you need, or other people are resisting your efforts. But just know that this is a card of personal power. You need to trust yourself. Listen to your own instincts because they won't fail you. If you hesitate, if you have doubt or anxiety, this is going to leave you open for the other person to win, for them to manipulate you or intimidate you. Before you act, though, even though things are happening quickly, make sure you get your facts straight before you just make an assumption. Make sure that any moves you make, any decisions you, you come to terms with are based on fact because it could be very easy for you to make decisions based on assumption right now especially with things moving so fast. Now, the third week you have the Queen of, so of Wands. So you may have contact with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, sun, moon or rising, or perhaps you're using this Queen's traits, maybe the other person or the situation. So this is a queen that's very focused on success, business success, leadership, uh, very passionate, willing to pursue their own interests. Uh, you know, she is not for the faint of heart, but she's a lot of fun, uh, can be domineering and, and over managing, but strong spirit of enterprise, very seductive to the opposite sex, lots of power of attraction, very good at self-promotion. She's fierce at being protective. So perhaps you're doing those things or you're coming in contact with someone like this. Now, hopefully this isn't a negative person acting in shadow because while charming, they can be a little bit of... Um, well, you know, forgive me, but a little bit bitchy. So, you know, there could be infidelity. This is a card where this person is not necessarily afraid of being the mistress because they're so passionate. Uh, and a lot of pride connected to this card. And this pride can interfere with being objective. Uh, but on, on the good side, you know, this is someone who's very enterprising, career oriented, an entrepreneur, maybe involved in a lot of projects. Uh, so a lot of positive fire energy for this card. So this could be a week where maybe you want to get noticed, you want to be appreciated. And because you do, your romantic powers of attraction are indeed 
increased or even your ability to attract the opportunities that you want. So you could attract a wide variety of suitors, people, personalities, opportunities where the goals and the personalities are complementary for your need for change and adventure. Uh, maybe this is a week where you're seeking uh, adventure and you, you feel more outgoing and you, you want your light to shine. Now for some of you, because you're looking for attention, it could be that maybe, you know, you're going a little bit too far. Maybe you become a nuisance and, and instead of attracting, you actually alienate people. Um, but generally, you know, I feel like this is positive and I feel as if this person, whoever this is, is someone that you have had contact with before in your past because this next card is the Six of Cups. So this could very well be a friend or someone from your childhood, um, someone that you're renewing some ties with. This could be a lover from your past or some old fling or old friend, uh, something from the past. Now, this this week, you're going to feel maybe a sense of nostalgia or, or uh, you're, you may be thinking about the past and mulling over, you know, the good times. Uh, again, it could be something from your past, literally. Somebody comes back to your past. There could be a karmic tie this week, uh, that some connection. Some of you might receive a job offer or maybe you're dealing with children or you receive a gift. But right now, this week, you're going to take a closer look at you know how far you've come you may be looking back over the past but you're considering how far you come and you may be thinking about how blessed that you are and so some situations this week that have been long overdue will give you the opportunity to either receive or express some kind of appreciation or some kind of thanks something that you did for someone that you know without thought some kindness or good deed could you know pay off for you this week so it might bear some fruit so you may have you know because this is a card so strongly tied to the past you may have several encounters or some episodes of deja vu where you feel like oh i've done this before this happened previously maybe your dreams are really important and there's some information there for you that's uh prophetic in some way or maybe you're just right on with your intuition you have a hunch and it's just spot on this week you are likely to hear from someone from or about someone from your past and any opportunities that you thought that you had given up on those could open up for you now for some of you you know something that you did in the past that maybe wasn't quite on the up and up or some kind of oversight some indiscretion or even something medical could resurface this week and to your disadvantage uh, also this could be a week where you might be contacted by someone or have to connect with someone that you would rather not so, but I, I really feel like this is more of a positive thing. For some of you, that will be the case. But I really feel as if you will be getting some news or some information and you'll be looking it over or reviewing it. Some opportunity that's going to present that's connected to this fire sign. Some karmic tie that you have with this person or someone from your past because the underlying energy is the Knight of Cups. So there's some offer, proposal, or agreement that's at work here throughout the month. Now, this Knight could be a, a water sign. You know, if this is another person, this could be, you know, uh, Pisces, a Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, but there, this month holds the promise of some kind of emotional matter taking place. Maybe you're going on a trip, maybe you're taking a vacation, a holiday, uh, maybe this is a new relationship that you're beginning. But there could be invitations and social, uh, social encounters that you have. 
Now, if this is connected to uh, a person, this is somebody who is, you know, an idealist. They're very romantic, uh, perhaps artistic, in touch with their emotions. Maybe they're seductive. Uh, maybe they're a counselor or they're giving you some advice. Um, they're very emotionally oriented. Now, if this person is operating in the shadow, this is somebody who may be immature, could be a liar, uh, could be somebody who's weak and, and doesn't have a strong sense of personal identity or they don't take responsibility for their actions. Uh, but again, I feel more positively toward this reading. And so this is a month where you could very likely fall in love with somebody and even if you hadn't planned to or it could just happen really quickly the the first card eight of wands is a card about falling in love and so you could fall in love quickly more quickly than you had expected to and it could be that you know for some of you if you're getting involved with someone whatever kind of relationship that is that all of the cards are not on the table this is going to be a month though where you have the ability somehow to that inner knowing that intuitiveness to sort of play the best psychologically to either outwit someone to beat the competition or more likely to win the object of your desire whatever that may be so uh I feel like there's some good things happening this month uh, for you. The, this, there's a sense of you know opportunities coming at you and, and uh, something from your past and some kind of offer. And it's something that, that's emotional that I feel that you will be emotionally vested in. Okay, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And before I close, I want to thank you for something I'm emotionally invested in. And that is you helped me reach the 100 subscriber mark. And so I want to thank you. It means a lot to me. So keep those subscriptions coming, your likes, your kind comments. I hope you have a fantastic August. And I look forward to speaking with you next month.